نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد آتینا موسا تسع آیات بینات فصل بنی اسرائیل از جا اہم فقال لہو فرعون انی لعظن کا یا فرعون یا موسا مسحورا قال لقد علم تما انزلہ اولا اللہ رب السماوات والرد بصائر و انی لعظن کا یا فرعون مسبورا صدق اللہ العظیم ناؤ دس از دی لاسٹ سیکشن آف سورت بنی اسرائیل and there is a similarity between the first section of surah bani israel which we read last night and this last section in the first section as we saw last night there was a mention of the history of bani israel twice they reached zenith power glory twice they were persecuted and chastised by allah subhanahu wa taala now that began with the exodus when the bani israel had left egypt here what happened before that in egypt while hazrat musa alayhi salatu was salam was sent as a messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards firaun and his chieftains and as a savior for the bani israel so now the mention is of that part of that history wa laqad atayna musa tisa ayatin bayyanatin and we gave moses nine signs which were very clear nine miracles first of all two miracles that were given to him in the first instance one was that his staff turned into serpent other was that when he took out his hand it was bright as sun without any disease but afterwards the famine the sea the storm locusts lice frogs and rain of blood these were the signs which were shown as a proof that not musa alayhi salatu was salam was the messenger of allah but firaun rejected all of them walaqad atayna musa tis ayatin bayyanatin fasal man israil is jahu and we had given moses alayhi salatu was salam nine clear signs now you can ask bani israil the children of israil What happened when Moses came to them? فَقَالَ لَهُ فِرْعَوْنَ But Fir'aun said to him, to Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, إِنِّي لَا ظُنُّكَ يَا مُوسَى مَسْحُورًا I think, Moses, you have been bewitched. Some magic has overtaken you. The same thing which was being said of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam at Makkah. The same thing was said about Musa alayhi salatu wa salam in Egypt. قَالَ لَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ Now, Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, He gave him the answer in the same coin. قَالَ لَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ مَا أَنزَلَهَا أُولَا إِلَّا رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضِ بَسَائِنِ You very well know that all these signs which I have shown you were not sent down except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the Lord of all the heavens and the earth to open your eyes. وَإِنِّي لَأَذُنُّكَ يَا فِرْعَوْنُ مَسْبُورًا And I think, O Fir'aun, you are going to be doomed and destroyed. فَعَرَادَ يَسْتَفِزَّهُمْ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ Now Fir'aun tried to erase them from the land, to kill them all. فَعَرَقْ نَاهُ Instead of the Bani Israel being killed, we drowned him. فَعَرَقْ نَاهُ وَمَمْ مَعَهُ جَمِيعًا Or all of his armies and chieftains, they were all drowned in the sea. فَقُلْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ لِبَنِ إِسْرَائِلِ And then we said to Bani Israel, اُسْكُنُ الْأَرْضِ Now you live in this world. فَإِذَا جَا وَعَدُ الْآخِرَةِ جَيْنَا بِكُمْ لَفِيفَةً When the promise of the Akhirah will come to pass, then we shall bring you back rolled up as a crowd. Now what does this mean? This means, you know, when this world will come to an end and all human beings will have to go to the, the plane of Hashr, which we call where they will be accounted for, for their deeds and, and whatever they said. So that is all people, all humanity will be brought over there. But here, particularly for Bani Israel, what does it mean? I think so, that Bani Israel have been in the condition of diaspora for nearly 2000 years. In the year 70, 
Titus, the Roman general, he conquered to suppress the rebellion of the Jews in Jerusalem. He massacred 133,000 people in one day, Jews. Also took 63,000 as captives and slaves and demolished the second temple which was built in the Mecca, during the Maccabi kingdom and turned them out, the Bani Israel, go away from Jerusalem and go away from Palestine. That was the beginning of their diaspora. They went to Europe, they went to Russia, they went to Asia, they went to, to Africa and so on and so forth. And they went to the Asian countries. So this diaspora came to an end. When? In this century, in the year 1917. Well, you know the Britishers, they allowed them because Palestine was under their mandate. So they allowed the Jews, you can come back in Palestine and you can settle over here. You can buy houses, property, fields, etc., etc. 1917, starting from the year 70 AD to 1917, what it, does it come to? 1800 and something. For this long period, they were not able to enter into Palestine. But now they are being gathered there because now their final end will come. When there is going to be a big confrontation, the surah, the next surah, surah Kahf will begin with it. The Al-Malhamatul Uzma, the biggest war of the, of the history of the world. And you know, there will be massacres and this Ummah, Yahud, they will be finished, exterminated. Like the old nations to whom the messengers of Allah were sent, the nation of Nu and Hud and Saul, etc. The same thing will happen to them at the hands of Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, who is going to return back. He was raised alive to the heavens and he will descend down. So this is why now the Jews are being, you know, collected in one land so that their greater Israel becomes their greater graveyard. If they have spread over the whole of the world, you know, then the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have to be universal. No, you gather them, come here, gather here, so that in one strike you are all finished. This is going to happen, inshallah. In the first section of the surah also, after mentioning the four periods of the history of Bani Israel, then there was the ayah, Inna haza al-Qur'ana yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. Wa yubashiru al-mu'minin al-lazina ya'amaloon al-salihati anna lahum ajran kabira. In the same way here also, after mentioning a part of the history of Bani Israel, now, wa bilhaqq anzalnahu wa bilhaqq nazal. With truth we have sent down this Qur'an. And it has come down the truth. Wa ma arsalnaaka illa mubashiram wa nazira. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but only as a giver of the glad tidings and as a warner. And this Quran we have sent down to you piecemeal, not whole of it at once, bit by bit, so that you may recite it to the people with intervals. And Nazal Nahu Tanzila. And we have sent down it gradually. Say to them, O people, whether you believe in this Quran or you don't believe, in the Lazina Gutul Ilma min Kablahi. Those people to whom knowledge was given before this Quran. When this Quran is recited unto them, they fall on their faces on the ground in prostration. And they say, Subhana Rabbina in Kanabad Rabbina la Mafula. Glory is for our Lord. And verily, the promise of our Lord had to be fulfilled. This was the promise. You know, in Deuteronomy, one of the books, five books of Bible, in 1818, chapter 18 and verse 18, there is the prophecy. I will raise from among their brothers a messenger like you, O Moses. And I will put my word in his mouth. And he will then say to them what I would like him to say. 
دس از دی پروفیسی اکارڈنگ ٹو وچ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز سینٹ بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اینڈ دی پیپل ہو ہیڈ نالج دی علماء دی نالجیبل پیپل امنگ بنی سائی دے نیو اٹ سو دوز پیپل وین دے لسن ٹو قرآن دے فیل آن دی گراؤنڈ ان پروسٹریشن اینڈ دے سر سبحان رب بنا ان کان آباد رب بنا اللہ مفہولا گلوری بی ٹو اور لارڈ ڈیفینیٹلی دی پرامس آف اور لارڈ ہیڈ ٹو بی فلفلڈ وہ یہ خرون علی الاسقان یب کون وہ یسید ہوں خوشوا اینڈ دے فال ڈاؤن آن دیئر فیس از ویپنگ اینڈ دس انکریزنگ دس انکریزز ان دیم دی فیئر آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی دس از آیت آف سجدہ سو پلیز میک اے سجدہ بسم اللہ اول آخر ناؤ دی لاسٹ ٹو آیات قلد اللہ عبد الرحمن سے او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم او پیپل کال اپون اللہ اور کال اپون رحمان اٹ میکس نو ڈفرنس ایم مات ادو ہوم سو ایور یو آر کالنگ فلاح الاسما الحسنا آل دی بیوٹیفل نیمز آر فار ہم دیر واز اے کنٹروورسی ان مکہ بیکاز دے نیو دی نیم اللہ دے یوز اٹ قرآن ہیز آلسو اڈیپٹڈ دی ورڈ اللہ یس بٹ قرآن انٹروڈیوس ادر نیمز آف اللہ آلسو And in the other names, most prominent is Rahman. It comes in Quran many times, many times. 113 times in the ayah, Bismillah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Arabs used to say, who is this Rahman? We don't know. Allah we know. But who is this Rahman? So now Allah is saying, what does it make? What difference does it make? He is one. He is the creator. He is the Lord. He is the sustainer. He is one. All good names. belong to him so you call him by the name of allah or you call him by the name of rahman it makes no difference qul idu allah wa rahman ayyam ma tadu fa lahu al-asma'ul husna wa la tajhar bi salatika wa la tukhafit biha and when praying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't make your voice loud also don't don't keep it very low wa taghi bayna zalika sabila try to have something in between balance وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدَا And say, all praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ayah is very important. It is in a way equal to Surah Al-Ikhlas. All the things which are included in four ayat of Surah Al-Ikhlas are here in one ayah. قُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ Number one, say, all praise belongs to Allah. الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدَا who didn't take a son to him lam yalid wa lam yulad in surah al ikhlas he didn't take a son to him wa lam yakul lahu sharikun fil mulk and there has been no partner with him in sovereignty he is the sovereign the whole mulk sovereignty belongs to him and him alone sarvari zeba faqat us zat be hum ta ko hai hukmara hai ek wahi baaki mutan e azm wa lam yakul lahu waliyyun min az zul and there has been no helper or friend for him because of any weakness you have friends and you think a friend will come in some time of need he will help me and that, that is why you keep the friendship and that is why you have to somehow and sometimes accept his wrong demand also well he is my friend i have to accept his his thing although it's wrong but i have to accept he is my friend maybe tomorrow i need his help there is no such friend of allah subhanahu wa taala Allah doesn't need any help. Allah is all powerful. He has all ya. All the ahl iman, the believers are all ya of Allah. But this is not due to any weakness. This is not because he needs some help. Wa kabir ho takbira and magnify him with all the magnification. Now, what is magnify? Make him great, great, great. Not only say we we think. saying allahu akbar it is takbir yes it is takbir but this is the beginning of takbir the end of takbir is you make allah supreme his command supreme he becomes the ruler his law is enforced his system that has been given that he has given in the form of dinul haq it becomes supreme then he will be great otherwise he is not great constitution of united states of america is greater than allah and supreme court is greater than allah and everything you know parliament senate 
کانگریس دے آر گریٹر دین اللہ دے کین پاس اینی لا اگینسٹ دی لا آف شریعہ دے کین پاس سو اللہ از ناٹ گریٹ ہی از گریٹ نو ڈاؤٹ بٹ یو ہیو ٹو میک ہم ریئلی گریٹ ایکچولی گریٹ وین ہز گریٹنیس از اسٹیبلشڈ تو دس آیا یو نو ان فائیو ڈفرنٹ ویز اٹ از پریزنگ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ اینڈ دس توحید ان اے ویری کمپریہنسو یونیورس اور الحمد للہ الزی لم یتخذ والا دا ولم یق الح شریق الف الملک ولم یق الح ولی بن ضل و کبر ہو تکبیر میگنیفائی ہم میک ہم گریٹ نا وی کم ٹو دی نیکسٹ سورہ سورت القحف نا پلیز نوٹ دیز ٹو سورہ سورہ بنی اسرائیل اینڈ سورہ کحف آر اے ویری بیوٹیفل ایگزامپل آف اے ویری بیوٹیفل پیئر آف سورہ نمبر ون دے آر ایبسولیوٹلی ایکول ان سائز ٹویلو سیکشنس آف سورت و بنی اسرائیل ٹویلو سیکشنس آف سورت کحف آیات ان بنی اسرائیل ہنڈریڈ اینڈ الیون ان کحف ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹین اونلی ڈفرنس آف ون آیا دین بنی اسرائیل اسٹارٹیڈ وتھ سبحان اللہ سبحان الزی اسرا بعبد ہی لیل من المسجد الحرام المسجد الاقصا دس از اسٹارٹنگ الحمد للہ الزی انزل علا عبد الکتاب ولم یج اللہ عوجا دس تصویح تحمید دے آر جوائنٹ ٹوگیدر اکارڈنگ ٹو اے حدیث دی پروفٹ سیٹ التصویح و نصف المیزان و الحمد للہ تم لوہ یو نو دی اسکیل آف دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ ہاف ول بی فل بائی تصویح اینڈ تکبیر ول فل اٹ سو تصویح اینڈ تکبیر سورہ بنی اسرائیل اسٹارٹنگ وتھ تصویح سبحان الذي اسرا بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام الى المسجد الاقصى اند سورت قاف الحمد لله نیکسٹ تھنگ یو مسٹ نوٹ دیٹ دی لاسٹ آیا سورہ بنی اسرائیل از قل الحمد لله اند ہیئر دی نیکسٹ سورہ از بیگننگ الحمد لله ایز اف دی کمانڈ وچ واز دیر ان دی لاسٹ آیا یا اٹس بینگ اٹس بینگ ایکٹیولی اند ایکچولی اٹ از بینگ اوبیڈ ہیئر الحمد لله So that I told you that in the center of both these surahs, there is the story of, of Iblis and Adam. The ayat in the beginning of the sixth section of this surah, ayat in the beginning of the sixth section of Bani Israel. So these are the similarities. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ اللہ انزل على عبده الكتاب ولم یجعل له عوجا All praise belongs to Allah who has sent down on his bondsman Abd. Here could be Rasulahi. But Allah prefers the word Abd. This is higher level for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam than Rasul. We think the Sadat is higher than Abdiyat. No, no, no. In Abdiyat, you face your Lord. In Risala, You are facing the people to whom you are talking. So actually, Abd is a higher status than Risala. Abdiyat. In the same way we found in Surah Bani Israel. Subhan al-lazi asrabi abdihi layla min al-masjid al-haram il al-masjid al-aqsa. Not Rasulihi. Alhamdulillahi al-lazi anzala ala abdihi al-kitab wa lam yajallahu e wajah. Also in Surah Al-Furqan. تبارک الذی نزل الفرقان علی عبده لیکون للعالمین نصیرا سو آل پریز بلونگس ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہو ہیز سینٹ ڈاؤن آن ہز بونڈس مین آن ہز سرونٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم الکتاب دس بک ولم یجعل له عوجا ان ہی ہیز پلیسڈ نو ڈسٹورشن ان دس بک اٹس اے ویری پلین بک ویری کلیئر بک کتاب مبین قیما سٹریٹ Absolutely straight. Le yunzira baasan shadeedam milladun ho. So that he warn of a very big war which will come from your Lord. Now baasa and baas here has been translated as a big punishment also. But in Quran we find when this word is used in, as a plural baasa, there can be any type, type of turmoil. Hunger, famine, etc., etc., drought, all these are ba'asa. But when it is singular ba'as, heen al-ba'as, ba'as means war. So actually, the prophecies of Muhammad 
ریگارڈنگ الملحمت العظما اے ویری بگ وار وچ از گوئنگ ٹو بی فاٹ اینڈ وی فائنڈ دس آلسو ان دی کرسچین ٹریڈیشن یو مائٹ ہیو ہرڈ آر میگڈان آر میگڈان از کمنگ ناؤ دی کرسچن سے اٹس کمنگ اٹس ویری نیئر اینڈ اف یو کنسلٹ اے ڈکشنری اباؤٹ دس ورڈ یو ول فائنڈ اے ویری بگ وار وچ ول بی فاٹ بٹوین دی فورسز آف ایول اینڈ گڈ بفور دی اینڈ آف دس ورلڈ This is the dictionary meaning of Armageddon. So in the Revelations, the last book of New Testament is Revelation of St. John. And in the prophecies of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is mention of a very big war. So that he warns people of a very big war. Why Yubashir al-Mu'mineen and Yubashir al-Mu'mineen and he should give the glad tidings to the believers. Allazina yamaluna salihat who not only believe also do good deeds. ان له اجر حسنا فور دم ول بی اے ویری بیوٹیفل ویری گڈلی ریوارڈ ما کسی نے فیہ ابدا اینڈ دے ول ابائڈ ان اٹ فار ایور فار ایور و ينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا اینڈ ہی شڈ وارن دوز پیپل ہو ہیو سیڈ دیٹ اللہ ہیز ٹیکن اے سن ناؤ دس از دی مینشن اف کرسچینز یو نو ہو ایٹ دس ٹائم ار کنٹرولنگ دس گلوب Who are they? Christians. And Jews are controlling the Christians. But Christians are controlling the whole world. But actually Christians, you know, they are the big powers. This America, Europe, everything, everywhere. Then, you know, in the East also. The Philippines, oh, who? Christians. And now Temur divided. And, you know, half of it is now in a Roman Catholic state, country. In Africa, Christians. They are not allowing the Muslims in Nigeria to establish the Sharia law. Many thousand Muslims were massacred. Why? Because they wanted to establish the law of Sharia in the Nigeria, a Muslim majority country. But they don't let it do it. So this is what is happening now. And what is going to be, there is a prophecy of the Prophet. Armies from 80 countries, Christian countries, will come and invade Middle East. And each, under each, you know, flag, there will be 12,000 people. So, if you multiply by 12, the 80, 80,000, 12,080, what it comes to? About a million people will be there. And nearly one third of the million were there in the Gulf War also. Now, whole this NATO, it is being harnessed afresh, new, strengthened and expanded. What for? For whom? There is no threat. They say there is a threat from the Muslim fundamentalists. Anyhow. وَيُنزَلَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا تَحَضَ اللَّهُ وَلَدَا And he should warn those who have said that Allah has taken for himself a son. مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمِ They don't have any knowledge of it. وَلَا لِعَبَائِهِمْ Nor their, their elder fathers, four fathers had any knowledge. كَبُورَتْ كَلِمَةً تَخْرُجُ مِنْ أَفْوَائِهِمْ Very grievous is the word that is coming out of their mouths. Very insulting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In yaquluna illa kaseba. They are not saying except what is it is lie, a big lie. Falaad laka baqiun nafsa ka ala asabihi. So Muhammad may be that you kill yourself in grief over the consequences that are going to take place. فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاخِرُ نَفْسَكَ عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ The consequences of this, you know, dogma of Trinity, this accepting Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam as son of God. So, begotten son of God, begotten. So, actually, they say he is the begotten, the only begotten son of God. فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاخِرُ نَفْسَكَ Now, the doom that is going to come to them, maybe that due to the grief, you may perish. فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاخِرُ النَّفْسَكَ عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ إِلَّمْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهَادَ الْحَدِيثِ أَسْفَصْفَى If they don't come to believe in this, this Qur'an. إِنَّا جَعَلْنَا مَا عَلَىٰ الْأَرْضِ زِينَةَ اللَّهَا We have made whatever is on this earth an adornment for it. These skyscrapers of Manhattan, these high-rise buildings, these big bridges, these highways, these gardens, These, you know, parks, what are they? They are like ornaments 
just as a woman. She uses ornaments. This, this, these are the ornaments for this world, for this earth. Inna jalna maada lande zinatullaha. It's an adornment for them. Le yablo ahum, le nablo ahum ayyum asanu amala. So that we should try and test them. Who among them are the doers of the good deeds? What does it mean? This world is very beautiful. Allah is the most beautiful. Now you love either this world or Allah. This is the test. If you love this world, you have failed. If you love Allah, live here. Use it. But don't love it. Live in this world. Use it. But don't love it. Your love should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the crux of the matter. And we are definitely going to make all that is on it, on the earth, a barren soil. When this hour will come, everything will perish. These skyscrapers, nothing. The whole earth will become a plain thing without any mountains. Mountains will also disappear. There will be la evaja, wala amta. No height, no depth. It will all be a single plain earth. And on that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then will come down. And all the malaika will come down. And then, you know, the hell will be brought before their eyes. So all these things are going to happen. Now, this surah has two stories. One of the people of Kahf, the people of Cave, that is in the beginning. Other is the story of Zul Karnan, that is near the end. Now, actually, these were the questions asked by the Quraysh of Makkah from Muhammad Sallallahu on the instigation of the Jews. Well, Jews sent them the message. That we have come to know that a person amongst you, Muhammad, named Muhammad, وسلم, he is claiming to be a messenger of Allah, to be a prophet. Well, you ask him three questions. If you can answer them, then maybe he is a messenger. Who were the people of the cave? What was the story of the people of the cave? Who was Ul Karnan? What is the story? And what is spirit? What is Ruh? Now, the answer to the third question is given in Surah Bani Israel. They are asking you about Ruh. Tell them, Ruh is from the command of my Lord. And you have not been given from the knowledge, but a very little. So you can't understand. The reality of Ruh, you can't understand. It's the, it's the command of Allah. But these two questions are answered here. First of all, this is Ashab al-Kahf. And from this is the name of this Surah, Surah al-Kahf. Do you think that the people of the cave and the inscription were among our very, very big signs? You may think that there is a very big sign. For us, it is nothing. Some people remained alive but sleeping for 300 years. What happened? For Allah, it is nothing. But you think it is a very big sign? Now, the, what is the story? In the second century of Christian era, Roman Empire was pagan, worshipping idols, their mythology, gods and goddesses. And when Christianity was spreading in the Roman Empire, those who accepted the message of Jesus, they were persecuted badly. So, in the days of Decius, which we call in Urdu the Qiyadus. Decius was the emperor of Rome in the second century. In his time, some youth, they accepted Christianity. And Christianity was the deal at that time. Hazrat Masih was the messenger of Allah. And Muhammad had not, had not as yet come, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it was the true deen of Allah. So they became, so to say, Muslims and Muwahids. But now, they were brought to the king and the king said, 
آئی گیو یو سیون ڈیز آئی در یو کم بیک ٹو یور دی ریلیجن آف یور فور فادرس اور دین یو ول بی اسٹون ٹو ڈیتھ نو دیز پیپل ون دے بیمنٹ بیک دے تھاٹ واٹ کین وی ڈو سو دے کنسلٹ ان ڈیچ ادر لیٹ اس گو ٹو سم کیو اینڈ اسٹے دیئر اینڈ سی واٹ اللہ ڈس لیفٹ دس سٹی گے دیئر اینڈ دس ہیپن ان اے سٹی ایفوسس ایفسوس یا ایفوسس اینڈ دس واز ان دی پریزنٹ ڈے ٹرکی دیٹ واز رومن امپائر اینڈ اٹ واز ان دس کنٹری دس سٹی ایفوسس ون دے وینٹ ان دیٹ گیو اللہ سبان و تعالیٰ میڈ دم سلیپ and they kept sleeping for 300 years now what happened during these 300 years constantine the emperor of rome he accepted christianity in the year 300 ad in the beginning of the 4th century now the whole empire christian the roman empire is christian now when they got up In the 5th century, it was the day of the emperor Theodosius. Now they got up and they thought, how much have we lived here? For how long had we stayed in this cave? Some said, maybe one day or a part of a day. The others said, oh, let's leave it. We are hungry. Give this silver piece, coin, to someone. He should go and find some good food, clean, halal, so that we can take the food. When one that that person came in the, in the city and he presented his coin, well, there was, you know, a, people said, where did you get this coin? It is 300 old years coin. How did you get it? Maybe you have some treasure. You have found a treasure. So there was, in this way, people came to know that this was the story they are the people because about them you know when they had disappeared their account was written on a tablet and put in the treasure by the by the emperor so that is why they are called ashab al kahf and of raqeen ashab al kahf were raqeen the inscription so that was taken out from the treasure and they found they are the people and they have been sleeping here in this cave for 300 long years but then they went there back into the cave and then they died and then the people now because they were christians now so they they decided that they will make a place of worship on that cave so this is the story and this story is found in gibbon's book decline and fall of the roman empire story of seven sleepers this gibbon has written now i read the text of the quran اب حسیب تعداد صاحب القاف و رقیم قانو بن آیات نہ آ جبا ٹو یو تھنک دیٹ دس میٹر وچ ہیپن ود دی پیپل آف کیو اینڈ انسکرپشن اٹ از ون آف اور اور ویری گریٹ سائنس از اول فطیت القاف وین دوز یوتھ کیم ٹو دی کیو کالو اینڈ دے سیٹ ربنا آ تنا مل دن کا رحمہ او اور لارڈ یہ بس فرام یور اون اسٹورس برسی وہی لنا میں نمد نہ رشادہ اینڈ پرووائڈ اس فار اس ریکٹیٹیوڈ ان اور افیئر سیلویشن فضر ابن اعلیٰ اذان کاف سنید عددا سو وی سیلڈ اپ آن دیئر ایئرس فار سم فار سم ایئرس دیٹ از دے وینٹ ٹو اسلیپ سم عباس ناؤ دین وی ریز دیم اپ لینا لما سو دیٹ وی نو ائی الحسبین احسا لما لبیسو احمدہ وچ آف دی ٹو پارٹیز ہیز کیپٹ کریکٹ یو نو انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف ہاؤ لانگ دے ہیڈ بین دیئر نہ نو نہ قصو علیہ کا دبا ہوں بالحق ناؤ ان دیز تھری آیات دی ہول کریکس آف دی میٹر ہیز بین گیون بٹ دی ڈیٹیل از ناؤ کمنگ نہ نو نہ قصو علیہ کا دبا ہوں بالحق او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وی آر گوئنگ ٹو نریٹ آن یو their story with truth in nahum fityatun they were a few youths amanu bi rabbihim who believed in their lord in tawhid wazidnahum huda and we increased them in guidance we gave them more guidance more guidance more yaqeen more taqwa 
وربطنا على قلوبهم اینڈ وی اسٹرینگتھن دیئر ہارٹس وین دے اسٹڈ ایٹ مین اسٹڈ دی کورٹ آف دی امپر فقال ربنا رب السماوات والارض اینڈ دے سیڈ اینڈ پروکلیمڈ اوور دیئر اور لارڈ از دی لارڈ آف دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ لن ندوا من دونہی الہن وی آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو پرے ٹو اینی ادر دین گاڈ ایکسیپٹ ہم لقد قلنا ایز ان شطرا اف وی سے دیٹ اٹ ول بی ویری ایکسیڈنگلی رانگ تھنگ ہا ولا قوم تخذو من دونہی الہ دیس پیپل دیس اف نیشن دے ہیو ٹیکن ود اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ادر گاڈز السو الونگ سائیڈ دی بگ گاڈ ریٹن بائی کیپٹل جی گاڈ ود کیپٹل جی گاڈ is omnipotent omnipresent omniscient but with small letter g gods and goddesses thousands of them so they have adopted gods besides god how lai qawmun attakhadu min dunihi alaha laula yatun alaihim bi sultan bayyin why don't they produce a clear proof thereof faman azlamu mimman iftara ala allah kadhiba who is more wrong doing than the person who is forging lies against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why they tazal to move him and now then they were given you know only seven days make a decision either you leave this deen of tawhid come back to the mythology roman mythology or you will be stoned to death now they consulted each other why they tazal to move him wa ma ya'buduna illa allah now that you have left them and whom they are worshiping except allah فاو الى الكهف ناو ليت اس جو تو سم كيف ينشر لكم ربكم من رحمته يور لورد ويل سبريد فور يو ذا بيدنج اوف هيز مرسي باي يحيي لكم من امركم مرفقا اند هي ويل برودوس فور يو ان يور ماترز ايز وترشم سيدا طلعت نا وات واز ذا بوزيشن اوف ذا كيف اس ماؤت ورس تورس ذا اوپننگ ورس تورس ذا نورث تو وان ذا سن روز from the east no direct sun was going into the cave indirect light just as we have the north light you know shells are made for big factories and mills etc so no sun should not go directly the rays of the sun but light should go indirectly wa tara shams idha tala tadawar an kahf at al yameen and you might have seen the sun when it rose inclined from their cave towards the right وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ تَقْرِضُهُمْ ذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ And where it set passed by them on the left. وَهُمْ فِي فَجْوَةٍ مِّنْهُ And they were there in a broad place in the cave. The mouth, mouth or opening of the cave was small. Inside the cave was wide. وَذَلِكَ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ This is from among the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. مَنْ يَحْدِ اللَّهُ فَهُوَ الْمُحْتَدْ Whomsoever Allah guides, He is the only rightly guided person. Woman Yudlil, and whom he sends astray, Falan Tajid Allahu Aliya Murshida. You will not find for him anybody who is protector and who can direct him to the right path. What Tahsab Hum Ay Qazan? Had you seen them in that, that, that position, you would have thought that they are awake. Wahum Rukun, but they were actually asleep. Wa Nukalle Bahum Zat Al Yamin Wa Zat Al Shimal. and we kept on turning them to the right to the left so that they shouldn't have the bed sores you know if they are lying on their back continuously continuously so there will be sores so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is turning them from left to right right to left nuqallibuhum zat al yamin wa zat al shimal wa qalbuhum basitun zira'ih bil wasid and along with them was their dog maybe a bulldog you know very <coughs> frightening dog and it was sitting at the threshold of that cave extending its arms lav talata alaihim lav laita minhum firaram wa lamut malmulata minhum roba if you would have passed by chance and glance you know you would have left their run away from there in fright and you must have been you know frightened to see this scene this big dog sitting in in the, in the door you know although the door was also asleep the dog was also asleep or dead whatsoever wa kazalika basna and now we raised them up awoke them layata salu bainahum so they asked between themselves 
قال قائل من ہوم ون آف دم سیڈ کم لبس تم ہاؤ لانگ ہیو یو بن ہیئر قالو لبس نا یو من اور بازا یو دے سیڈ مے بی ون ڈے ہاؤ مچ اے مین سلیپس ون ڈے اور اے پارٹ آف اے ڈے یو من اور بازا یو من قالو ربو کم عالم بما لبس تم دین دے سیڈ لیو اٹ یور لارڈ نوز بیسٹ ہاؤ مچ پیریڈ یو ہیو بن ہیئر فم آسو احادا کم ناؤ سینڈ ون آف یو بے ور کم حاضی وتھ دس پیس آف سلور ال المدینہ تے ٹو دی سٹی فل ینظر دین دی ہی شوڈ گو اینڈ سی ایوہا از کا تامن وچ از دی فوڈ وچ از پیور اینڈ وچ از کلین فل یا تے کم بے رسک من ہو اینڈ دے شوڈ برنگ ہی شوڈ برنگ سم فوڈ سم پروویژن فروم وچ ول یا تلطف اینڈ ہی شوڈ بہیو کرٹیسلی ولا یو شن نبی کم احدا ہی شوڈ این فال آؤٹ وتھ اینی بڈی یو نو دین دے ول سی ہو ایز اینڈ ویئر آر ہز کمپینینس سو یو نو دین وی آر ہیئر ہائڈنگ لا یو شرن نبی کم احدا ناؤ دوز ہو ہیو اوپن دس قرآن مجید وتھ دیم دے شوڈ نوٹ دس ورڈ ول یا تلطف دس از دی ایگزیکٹ سینٹر آف قرآن ریگارڈنگ دی نمبرس آف دی الفا بیٹس ناٹ ورڈس الفا بیٹس ایون دی الفا بیٹس ہیو بن کاؤنٹیڈ ان یا تلطف تا تا از بلونگس ٹو دی فرسٹ ہاف اینڈ لام بلونگس ٹو دی سیکنڈ ہاف اینڈ ہیئر اکارڈنگ ٹو دی نمبر آف دی لیٹرز آف قرآن دس از ایگزیکٹ ہاف ان نہ ہوں یا یزر علیکم If they prevail upon you, yarjumukum, they will stone you to death. Or yuridukum fi billatihim. Or they will force you to go back to their deen, their religion. Walan tuflehu izan nabada. And in that way, you will never be able to prosper and succeed. Wa kazalika asarna alayhim. In this way, we disclose their matter to them, to the people of the city. لَيَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ وَعَدَ اللَّهِ حَقُّمْ So that they come to know that the promise of Allah is true. وَإِنَّ السَّاعَةَ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهَا And as for the fixed hour of doomsday, there's no doubt in it. Now if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can keep some people living for 300 long years, can't He resurrect you from the dead? So it, this became an argument. Because at that time there was an argument going on between people. How people will be resurrected? How is it possible? How can we understand it? So now this sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came before them. And they came to know these are the people, these who had left, you know, who had fled, who had ran away. And we, were, we couldn't find them anywhere. And their account was written on some tablet. And that was, and that was placed in the trayer. And that, you know, tablet was taken out. Oh yes, they are the people. And they have been there for 300 years. Second century of Christian era, they entered the cave. Fifth century of Christian era, they came out. Is yatanaza'una baidahum amrahum. It seems that after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put them to death. They died then. And now these people, they closed the opening so that it became a collective grave for them, that cave. Now they were fighting each other, with each other. Is yatanaza'una baidahum amrahum faqalu bnu alayhim bunyana. And they said we should erect some, you know, very big building for them. So that people should know who were they. Very, very big saints of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah kept them alive for 300 years. Faqala al-lazina, qala al-lazina ghalabu ala amrahim. So the people who prevailed in this affair, they decided we shall construct a mosque here to, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A memorial, you know, a memorial to them, devoted to them. They will say that there were three and fourth was their dog. And some people say there were five and sixth was their dog. Rajmam bil ghaib. This is conjecturing about the unseen, guessing the unknown. They don't know. They don't have the knowledge. وَيَقُولُونَ سَمْعَةٌ وَسَامِنُهُمْ قَلْبُهُمْ And some say that they were seven 
and the eighth was their dog. This style, you know, in between the lines says that actually this is the correct figure. Seven. Sabatul was Samenohum Kalbohum. And eighth of among them was the dog. Ul Rabbi Alamu Baidatihim. But this is not an issue which should be argued about. Say them, my Lord best knows about their number. My Alamu Milla Khalil. People don't know them except a few. Fala tumare fihim illa miran zahira. So don't argue with them. Only outward contentions and that's all. Wala tastaf te fihim minhum ahada. And don't ask anybody also about this. But this what was necessary to be told to you. This was the reality. And this is sufficient for you. Don't try to go into details. Wala taqoolanna lishayin inni failun zalika gada. And never say, this is very important. Never say, I shall definitely do this thing tomorrow. Never say this. Illa yasha Allah. Always add, if Allah wills. I intend to do it, but I will be able to do it only if Allah permits, if there is the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He wills only. Illa yasha Allah. Now these, you know, these words, they represent our culture of monotheism, tawheed. Whenever something good comes to you, alhamdulillah. You are thirsty, you had water to drink, and what you do say? Alhamdulillah. All praise be to Allah. You see something which is nice, which is beautiful. The flower, very beautiful flower. What do you say? Subhanallah. You know, seeing everything, but remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see something which pleases you. You will find in the next, you know, section. MashaAllah. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed. It's the same way. I shall do this. I intend to do it. Inshallah. I will go. Although the car is ready. I got it serviced. You know, and the tank is full. Gas is there. Well, I can go. No, no, no. I will not be able to go unless Allah permits. And there is a, a tradition behind this ayah. Actually, when these questions were said to Muhammad Wasallam, these three questions, he thought that Jibreel comes daily. So, this night when he comes, I will ask and tell them. So, he said, okay, tomorrow I will give you the answer. Now, Allah disapproved of it. He should not have said this. He should have said, inshallah. So, because this was a mistake. Now, Jibreel is not coming. One day gone, two days gone, three days gone. Now, people are laughing. Finished? Failed? What happened to you? Where is your angel? Where is the wahi? Then, when wahi came, this instruction was also, وَلَا تَقُولَ لَنَّ لِشَيْنِ إِنِّي فَعِلُ ذَلِكَ غَدًا Never say for anything that I will do this tomorrow. Except if Allah wishes, if Allah permits. And if you forget. And then when you remind yourself and you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then say, وَقُلْ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَهْدِيَ لِرَبِّي لِأَقْرَبَ مِنْ هَذَا رَشَدَا It's possible that my Lord leads me, guides me to something which is better than this. I intend to do this, but maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends something better for me. Why should I decide that I have to do this? I give, leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he decrees, if he permits, well, okay, it will happen. And maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided for me something which is better than this. And they remained in their cave for 300 years and some people have added nine years to them. The explanation of some of the Mufassirin is that they were 300 years, years, 300 years according to the solar calendar. But as for the lunar calendar, in each century, three, three years increase. So according to the lunar calendar, it was 309 years. So both figures are correct. And they remained in their, in their cave for 300 years. 
and added to it were nine. Qulillahu alamu bimala besu. Again, this is not very important. Say, my Lord knows best how much they remained, for what period they remained over there. Lahu ghaibu samawati wal ard. To him belongs all the unseen of the heavens and the earth. Absir behi wa asmai. How excellent seer he is. And how excellent hearer he is. There is no friend for them, no protector for them except him. And he doesn't make partner anybody in his authority. We have read in the last ayah of Surah, Surah Bani Israel. Walilhamdulillahi lazi lam yattakhiz walada. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْكِ There has been no partner with him in kingdom. As a king, he is all-powerful. And here again the same thing. وَلَا يُشْرِكُ فِي حُكْمِهِ أَحَدَا He doesn't include anybody in his authority. وَطْلُ مَا هُيَا إِلَيْكَ مِنْ كِتَابِ رَبِّكَ O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, you recite what has been revealed to you from the book of your Lord. Nobody can change its words. And you will not find any refuge except with him. I told you that the great, you know, that was going on, the pressures on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And in those circumstances, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to pay more attention to the wealthy people, to the important chiefs. That if they accept me, then the Muslims will be strengthened. Our position will, will be strong in, in Mecca. So he used to pay more attention to the wealthy and to the more important elite of Mecca. But there were poor people also. Bilal and you know, Khabab al Arat. There were slaves. This hurt them. That Muhammad Wasallam is paying more attention towards them. They are rich. They are chiefs. But not to us. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you must, be, pay, you must pay more attention to your poorer companions. Recite. And this is the source of strength for you and your companions. Whatever has been revealed to you from the book of your Lord, nobody can change its words. And you will not find any refuge except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاسْبِرْ نَفْسَكَ مَا الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَدَاتِ وَنَشِيهِ And content yourself along with those who call upon their Lord mornings and evenings. These fuqarai sahaba, the companions, the poor people who are calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's praying in the morning also, in the evenings also. وَلَا يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَهُ they intend only the face of Allah, that is, His pleasure. They want that Allah be pleased with us. And let not your eyes pass beyond them, seeking the pomp and glitter of this world. These, you know, Rausa and these chieftains and these rich people, they have all the glitter and they, you know, seem very important. But you should not pay more attentions to them. And don't follow or don't give importance to those whose hearts we have deprived from our remembering. And they are following their wishes and lusts. And their all affairs are very much extreme. And you should say to them plainly, this is the truth from your Lord which I am presenting before you. Whosoever wills should believe. Whosoever wills, he should disbelieve. It's your choice. I have only to convey to you. I'm not going to request you. No. No, no matter of request. I have before put before you the truth from your Lord. Now it's your choice. Whosoever decides, he can become a moment. He, he, he can be, becomes a believer. Whosoever wants, 
to disbelieve and deny okay he is free but inna atadna lil kadi zalimina nara but for these evil doers we have prepared a fire you have the authority choice is yours go this way or that way but the result in the hereafter is going to be very different in the hereafter we have prepared the fire for them who disbelieve muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who reject quran inna atadna lil zalimina naran ahata bihi suradiqha this nar whose smoke and flames will surround them like the walls and roof of a tent wa yastaghisu yughasu bima in kalbuhl and if they will aunt and ask for water they will be given you know the molten copper which will burn and roast their mouths yash will wuju be sharab very bad thing to drink wa saat murtafaqa and very bad place to rest over there that is this jahannam barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al azim wa nafa'ani wa iyyakum bil ayati wa zikril hakim